All I could hear was the sound of ambulances going forward, coming backwards, and nothing else would move other than ambulances. Cars weren't moving, people weren't moving. So for the first time when we heard that sound kind of go down, at least for a bit throughout the day, I think we realized that, okay, it, the situation is relieving a bit. The reasons why I decided to go to Italy at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic was because Italy was one of the first and worst hit countries, especially in Europe. We had the highest mortality rates. My family was in Italy as well. They had told me how bad the situation of the healthcare system was. I decided to go back and volunteer in ambulances throughout my time there. Uh, we didn't know what we were going into. We didn't know when it would end. We didn't know how many of our relatives or loved ones would pass away in front of us. And many of us did actually see some of our relatives passing away, um, including myself. I also decided to provide as much support as possible for my peers and colleagues over here. We started to look early into the mental health effects that COVID-19 might have not only on, on surgeons, but especially on patients. Many were truly afraid um, that they weren't gonna make it outside of the hospital door. So being able to show compassion and being able to emotionally connect to your patient uh, was something that I learned and we urged everyone to be able to at least address those issues as well, other than the strictly medically related, clinically related issues. When you are involved in a pandemic of a big scale, sometimes you wonder whether the impact that you're having is making any change or not. All doctors, all nurses, all healthcare practitioners were putting in their lives, not only their time. Looking back, I am very proud to have taken part in volunteering throughout the pandemic and I would do it again. Um, I would do it again, encouraging other people to do it as well with me. Yeah.